Welcome and a beautiful good morning from Cologne Bonn in Germany. The sun is rising, we have a clear blue sky but it's still too cold. About 5 degrees Celsius so it's time for better weather. Today I want to fly with Aegean Airlines, the flag carrier of Greece, here from Cologne Bonn to Cairo in Egypt. My first flight from Cologne to Athens will be in economy class and after a little stopover I want to continue my way to Cairo in business class. If you want to compare Aegean Airlines economy and business class, stay tuned, the next video will follow soon. But like I said, it's really cold outside, so let's head inside the terminal and fly with Aegean Airlines on board their Airbus A320 to Athens. Aegean Airlines is a Star Alliance member, but they use the check-in area in Terminal 2 and not in Terminal 1 like Lufthansa or Eurowings. Right behind me you see the really empty Terminal 2. I want to check in now. My economy class ticket or my economy class fare comes with 8 kg of hand luggage and 23 kg of carry-on luggage included. You just need to pay for the seat selection. I think it was about 8 euro for my window seat. If I still have plenty of time, I want to check out the visitor's terrace, otherwise I will see you after the security control. And this is the visitor's terrace or observation deck of Cologne Bonn Airport. It's completely free, you don't need to pay any admission and it's open from 6.30 in the morning till 10 p.m. in the evening. But it depends a little bit of the weather situation. Here you have beautiful views over the whole apron, Terminal 1, Terminal 2. You see the runway and you see a lot of planes. So I want to enjoy now a few minutes here and then it's time for the security control.
All right, I'm at the gate area next to some Eurowings planes and the gate for my flight to Athens is C20 in Terminal 1 today. All in all, the airport experience was not so bad. As a Starlines Gold member, I was able to use the priority check-in and the security control took about 10 to 15 minutes. That's totally fine. During the last year, Colombo Airport made a lot of bad news because of long waiting times and staff shortness, but it seems to be better now. Before the pandemic, the airport operated two lounges, one Lufthansa Business Class and Senator Lounge. Normally, as a Starlines Gold member, I could use these lounges, but they were closed. Now it is a normal airport lounge, they call it the Lounge Cologne Bonn, and you can access this lounge with your priority pass. And that's what I want to do now. If you want to know more about the priority pass, check out the link in the description. This is the Lounge Cologne Bonn. It's open from 5 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. in the evening and it offers still the same old Lufthansa lounge furniture. That's great, otherwise it's not so crowded today. You can find here some little snacks and beverages, enough power outlets, free Wi-Fi. So all in all, for a priority pass lounge, it's totally fine. I will enjoy my coffee now and wait for the flight. And there is our Aegean Airlines Airbus A320 just arrived from Athens. This plane was delivered brand new to Aegean Airlines in January 2008. That means it is 15 years old now. The cabin comes with 174 seats in a 3-3 configuration in 30 rows. And now it's time for boarding. Welcome on board Aegean Airlines Airbus A320. The seat for my flight is 19F right behind the wings and I'm not really sure how full this flight or how full this cabin is. The gate area looks really crowded and I don't think that the seat next to me remains free but we will see and that's it for now.
The boarding is still in progress and luckily I had priority boarding today. I have to say the cabin looks already a little bit old and outdated. It's not the latest seat but it's fine. Right in front of me I find an in-flight magazine, also a shopping magazine, the safety card, an air sickness bag and a little tray table. That's it. The leg room is not the best, the seat pitch is a little bit poor, but yeah, we will see what Aegean Airlines offers during this flight and now let's start the engines and go to Athens. Finally, we're in the air, but not on time. We got the time slot from the air traffic control in Athens and now we're an hour delayed. However, I was lucky today, I have no seat neighbor, the seat next to me remains free and that makes me so happy. I think the cabin crew will start with their service very soon. Here with Agent Airlines, I think it's one of the last airlines in Europe without a buy on board system. We get one complimentary meal and one complimentary drink. Yeah, I'm really excited what they offer on board and now look at this. We have little TV screens with the flight map, that's awesome. And there is my complimentary meal. Okay, to be honest, it looks more like a little snack, but today I got some hot cheese pies, sweet and salty, and a Kit Kat chocolate, and also a coffee. So now it's time to try.
All right, that was the meal on our flight to Athens already. I'm not really sure what I have to say. Yes, it was tasty, but I'm still hungry and it was just a little snack, so a complimentary meal is great, yeah. But otherwise, a buy on board system offers more choices. Five, six, seven euro for a great huge sandwich are better than this little snack for free. It's just my personal opinion, maybe you think something else, but I would prefer a buy on board system. Yeah, this 15 years old Airbus A320 is not equipped with Wi-Fi. That means I can't use the infant entertainment on the personal device. So I will enjoy now the views out of the window. Maybe I check out the in-flight magazine. It's in English also. Or take a look on the flight map. And then I will see you right before our approach into Athens. And this is one of the lavatories here on board. There are two economy class lavatories located in the back of the cabin. And I have to say, it looks like a typical A320 lavatory. It's rather small, but also it looks not too old. It's clean. I find here some tissues, soap, and that's it. It feels like we started our descent into Athens already. The remaining flight time till we on the ground is now about 25 minutes. All in all, the flight time today was 2 hours and 40 minutes. The flight was not too smooth. We had some light turbulences the whole time. But the cabin crew was really friendly. The TV screens are great and I like the flight map. So please enjoy now the views out of the window and my full summary of this flight you will hear on the ground in Athens.
Welcome to Athens. I think it was the right choice to fly with Asian Airlines from Colombo to Cairo. I had a great flight. I had a nice seat neighbor. We had a free middle seat and the cabin crew was super friendly. The TV screens and the flight map are a great idea. Only the seat pitch is really bad and the snack, I don't know, it was simply not enough. I'm still hungry. But all in all, it was a great flight. I think this video here is long enough. I have a stop over now about seven hours and then I want to continue my way to Cairo in their business class. So if you want to know how it is to fly Asian Airlines in their business class, stay tuned. And now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye from Athens.